This question, basically, there's been a lot of people ask about the hand action or this view with what's happening over here on the follow through side. So what has to happen when you hit a golf ball, there's either two, there's two types of swings basically. There's either one that has a lot of forearm rotation going on. So you're going from here and you're doing a lot of forearm rotation. You're doing whatever you have to do to try to make this work. That's one way. The other way is where you have minimal forearm rotation which the club face is staying more at a 90 degree angle to your swing arc so it has limited amount of twist in the face. Now when I started because it was throw a ball, it was hit a baseball, it was hit a tennis ball, there wasn't any of this going on. I got talked into weaker grip, open the face, hold the face, rotate your forearms as fast as you could. Well that for me was extremely difficult. I still was decent with it because I was willing to practice but it would come and go. And some rounds and parts of rounds I'd hit some good shot and then all of a sudden I'd hit a shot just off the golf course. Because that timing, as you know for the face, a few degrees of face and the ball's off the golf course. So if we're looking at minimal amount of face rotation, which is what most of these guys are doing now, regardless of what they do with their bodies. So to be able to get the face to work and to be able to accelerate it and not hold the face off, that's bad too. That's kind of how I did it. But to be able to hit it really hard and hit it straight, what has to happen is when I hit the ball, I hit it, as I go through the ball, the face is closing relative to the target line, but it's staying at a 90 degree angle to my swing arc. Now, my arms straighten out because this leg is pushing back and the weight of the club's going forward, but there's no tension. And then as the club releases or passes my hands, my right hand works this way. It doesn't twist. So when that happens, and it doesn't twist, the face is closing relative to the target line and it's opening on the backswing and closing relative to the target line, but relative to my swing arc, the face is staying at a 90 degree angle. So the ball doesn't curve much. I mean, so now even your miss hits go pretty straight. And actually, if we got into, we talked about if you're a little late or a little early, the miss, it actually corrects itself. So it's a lot easier to play because there's not as much face rotation. But you have to get to the point where you hit the ball. Now, yeah, my left wrist, my left arm and club shaft are lined up at impact. I'm not saying you do this at impact. You run the club into the ball, but as the club goes past the ball, if you watch what my left wrist does, my arms are straight, but what does the club start to do? And then what does my left arm do? It folds up. So that allows the club to go around to the left. So it's a, it isn't a turn the face down. Now that was taught, I was taught to do that. I spent hundreds of hours with a fairly weak grip, opening the face, hitting the ball, and turning my left wrist down and facing the ground. I, I hit thousands of balls doing that to feel all that rotation. And I kept weakening my grip to where I could do more and more of that and the ball wouldn't hook. Well. Like I say, if I could do it over again, I never would have gone there, never. So being able to let the club go, direct the momentum, and actually throw it. I use that word and people hate it because they don't like to hear throw in golf because they think that means early release. No, I get right here and I throw that club head. I throw it with my right arm. I don't twist it. I just throw it. Now for my right arm to throw, my left hand has to be willing to go this way. It has to be willing to do that after I've hit it and over here my left hand has to be willing to break down and cup so I can throw. If it's trying to turn the face down, your right arm gets stuck and you're trying to twist this way instead of throw. This is faster than this is. This creates a tremendous amount of <laughs> speed. This is very hard to do because of where that club is and what this is trying to do to it. So the left hand and what it's willing to do, if it allows this to happen, the right hand can work. If this is trying to turn down, it's going to make it hard to use this correctly. Now if you're a dead beginner and you're trying to learn how to hook it, a lot of forearm rotation might be good for you at first because you're learning how to make the face work. The better you get, though, the less of that you want in your swing.
be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.